Let's start on our backs. You can keep your knees bent or straight. Take a big inhale, feel your belly expand up. Ribs go wide, and then your collarbones rise. Exhale as it all collapses. Inhale, belly gets big, like a balloon. Ribs widen, collarbones rise. On your next exhale, do a ha sound, like you're fogging up a mirror. Inhale, three-part breath, belly, ribs, collarbones. Exhale with a ha. And then close the lips, but still make the ha sound so that you can hear your breath. So you're making a raspy noise on the exhale, and on the inhale, you're doing the three-part breath. We call this the ujjayi breath in yoga, and we'll do it throughout this practice, except for in the dead man's pose at the end. On an inhale, draw your knee in, push your foot up, exhale, lower down like you're riding a bike. Inhale as you draw it in and up, exhale as you lower down. Still using the raspy sound on that exhale because that helps tighten up the abdominal wall for you and stabilize your spine. On the inhale, you can't use the belly breathing anymore because you're having to use the abs. So breathe into your side ribs and into your collarbones. Two part breath. If you want to switch, you may, or if you're trying to rehab one knee, stay on that one knee. Pelvis is level and squared and neutral. You have equal pressure on both sides of the pelvis. There's probably a slight gap between your back and the floor because that's neutral. When your pelvis is level, that's neutral. Cross your right leg over your left and then squeeze the inner ankles together. Like you're trying to scissor the legs apart. Right elbow under left, palms together. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, lower. Keep pulling the ankles apart. Put the hook together. The elbows come down. Squeeze the ankles. Keep pulling, pull, pull, pull. If you're trying to pull your legs apart from one another, but the ankle cross is keeping them together. And then switch. If your knees need to stay bent slightly, that's fine. Just put a pillow under your knees. But try not to prop your knees. We're trying to get them to go straight. Pull the feet apart. Like a scissor, like these are my ankles, I'm, it's as if I'm pulling them this direction. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale down. Pull the legs apart. Keep squeezing. Do your chai breath. Pull. Pull apart. Release. Pretend you're pushing on a gas pedal, squeezing the quads, and then with your upper body, pretend to pick apples like there's a tree in front of you, and you're picking and pulling. Push on the gas pedal, squeeze your quads, squeeze your buns. Squeeze hard and pick.
Magic apples above you and below you. Push on the gas pedal with both feet. If this hurts your neck, just support your head. Now the mermaid, with the legs, you're going to squeeze them together. Inner thighs coming together. Squeeze hard. Squeeze your buns. Press your elbows into the floor. Arch behind your heart. Chin scrapes the Adam's apple and then drop your head. Squeeze the legs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze as much as you possibly can. Big breathing into the ribs. Squeeze, squeeze the knees together, squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the ankles together. And you can support your head up or lift your head up and then walk your hands in. Slowly lower down, use your abs, bend your knees as much as your knees will allow today, and then lift into a bridge. Feet are hip width apart, knees stay hip width apart. If you want to put a pillow between your knees and squeeze it, you can. Lengthen out the back of your neck. If this is too much for you today, you can lower the hips and lift them. Or you can just stay up here. Or you can inhale lower and exhale lift. It's as if your feet are pushing towards the edge of your mat, the front edge of your mat. And then lower down. Slowly roll up. You're going to roll to your side and onto your knees. You're going to sit back as much as you can. This may be all you can do today. You can put a pillow underneath here or just work on coming down closer, closer, closer to your heels. Over time, you'll get there. Drop your head, whichever position you're in palms together or fingertips. Come back up. Reach out onto your side. Lounge lizard. Stack your legs. Pretend you're on a tightrope and drop your head. So your ankle, your hip, and your hand are on the tightrope in a straight line. Let your ribs sag. Just let it go. Let the whole spinal area go. Let your belly soften. And then you're going to press back again to child's pose. If you want to put a pillow under your knees, or you can even lift your injured knee just a little bit, to keep the pressure off. You'll stop somewhere along this path as far as you're able to bend your knees. Fingertips together. Ujjayi breathing. Coming up, lounge lizard on the other side. 
on the tightrope. This top hip must be directly over the hip to feel this. And then let these ribs, bottom ribs, sag. Drop your head. The next stretch. Ujjayi breathing. First, breathe into the easy parts of the ribs. So probably the lower ribs are going to be the easiest to breathe into. Fill them up. And then breathe into the more difficult spots. So these top low ribs are collapsing. So breathe into them as well. Back wide. back to the child's pose as far as you can today this will grow the more you practice never press into pain pain is always counterproductive so just go to the edge where your knees can bend to and work that comfortable edge If you've had a knee replacement, this may be a little painful. But you want your full range back. That's really the only exception to the rule. Placing your hands shoulder width apart, bend your elbows, lift your knees. Downward dog. Pressing your heels down working on straightening out your knees. They may be bent today. Lift one heel. Elbows bent and squeezing together. Switch. Tail lifting up. Switch. and switch again. Make sure the arches are lifting when you press down. So you have even pressure across the paddle of your foot. Bending your knees, walk your feet up. Slowly roll up. Take a big inhale, step back with your right foot. Back foot turns in 45 degrees. Front knee points in the same direction as your second toe. Belly in, tail down. Now you may be, you can sit on a chair and do this, but put the chair right here at first. And over time you'll get stronger. Press into the outer ridge of your back foot. Warrior two. The hips are turning and opening. This knee must stay open. If you have to reach down and help it, do so. Moving to a horse stance, both the feet turn out. Knees always point in the direction of the second toe. So if your feet are more in, so are your knees. Press into the shelf and push down, shoulders away from ears, shoulders above hips. Breathe. Feel the traction in your spine. Lift your heels if you can. You can be on a chair on this one too. And back down. And again, up and down. Straighten, turn the other foot in. Start with warrior two, hips pointing to the side walls. Place your hands on water, lift. Hands towards your head, open. Flip the wrist down. 
Move your head back on top of your spine and look over your ring finger. Make a blade. Over time, you'll sink a little lower. Even if you're not on a chair, pretend that you are. Both sitting bones are pointing down. Work on opening this knee. The knee is a hinge joint. It only goes back and forth. It'll do a little rotation, but we don't want it to. So keep it on its hinge. And then while you're one, you might make a little shorter stance. Pretend you're, put your hands at your opposite hips. Pull it up like you're pulling a sword. Spread your fingers. Press into the outer ridge of the back foot. Okay. Over time, you'll walk it out some. Eventually, lowering Ujjayi breathing. And then coming out of that, toe heel together. Tree pose, find a flat spot. <laughs> Draw your navel in and up. Big toes together, heels slightly apart. Broaden your back and then pull your shoulders back and down. Turn your palms up. And then bring your foot up to your calf. Unlock your knee. Your ribs are lifting up away from your hips. And make sure you're not sinking here. This has got to be pulled in. You can touch your hips, make sure they're squared to front and level. Make your foot like a rock. Remember your balance is here in your core, in your abs, not in your foot. Your foot has to be strong. Lift your toes so you're not digging. And then rest them gently on the mat. Get your head on top of your spine. Your hands can be anywhere, at your heart. They can be overhead, but if you do bring them overhead, keep the low ribs closed. And switch sides. Build your mountain first. Big toes together, heels slightly apart, belly up, tail anchors down, head moves back chin parallel to the floor, lift the foot to the calf. And if you're losing your balance, bring your foot to your ankle and touch and release. And if all else fails, you can hold a wall. But you're working on balance, so no gripping onto the wall. Unlock your knee joint so that the musculature is working, not the ligaments. If you fall, just get back up and do it again. It's no big deal. You might want to be near something if you think you're going to fall. There's a rising sensation in the front body and a downward sensation or grounding, anchoring through the back body. Lift your toes. Load them. Make sure the pelvis is squared and level. Stare at something that's not moving, and then go into a trance. Just kind of fog over your eyes like you're looking into a fireplace. Ujjayi breathing.
stop in both sets of toes. And release. At the front of your mat, controlled kneeling. Right knee goes down and back up. Ooh, you'll lose your balance, it's okay. And then lift on the left again and back up. Remember when your balance is, it's here. And back up. Switch. Lift. And lift. One more time on the other side down. And then you're going to come down to your back. Right knee over left. And then you're going to roll to your side, bringing your knee all the way down to the ground. Got a rock in my way. Left arm up. So the left knee is touching the ground. That's priority. Then let the left arm open. And lengthen out your neck. Float your arm. From a T shape to a Y shape, overhead, knee stays full contact to the ground, we're stretching the IT band that crosses the knee joint and the hip joint, Use your abdominals to lift your knees, and you're going to switch left knee over right. Drop left. Right knee touches, roll over, right arm up, and then open from the upper back. Right knee stays on the ground, push it down with your top leg. Lengthen your neck. Float your right arm, T shape, Y shape, overhead, Ujjayi breathing, find space in your ribs. Use your abdominals to lift your knees, lengthen out your head, walk your feet out, dead man's pose, bring your heels to the corners of your mat, turn your palms up, drop your jaw, release all the muscles around your mouth, around your eyes, throat softens, shoulders let go, release down the arms all the way to the fingertips. Drop your jaw, chest releases and opens, belly lets go, glutes spread like jelly, legs let go, kneecaps float, feet surrender. Gather up the task, set it on a cloud, let it float away. Gather up the future. Set it on a cloud, let it float away. It'll come back later. Affirm the past does not exist. The future does not exist. 
only this moment in time is real, so be here. Follow your breath inside yourself. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Take a big inhale, reach above your head and stretch. Exhale, roll to your right in a fetal position. Resting. Slowly come to a seated position that you like. Remembering all of these exercises, you can do holding on to a chair or a counter or even sitting on a chair to accommodate where you are today. Choose three blessings in your life and give thanks. As you exhale, lower your ego mind below your compassionate heart in reverence. Inhale as you rise, and namaste.